I was from the top three in the world in my first time joining Cold Space in 2018. And I got the first place in Egypt and I entered Cold Space four times. And this is the fifth time. This is my uh, flow chart. The store, then we will move forward. And if the deposit condition was yes, we will go to deposit. And if it's no, you will, you will see the another deposit condition. If it's yes, go to deposit. If it's no, it's condition. The deposit condition is like if he saw the deposit area, he will go to make deposit. If no, he will see the trap condition. If it's yes, you will avoid draft. If no, you will see the another statement. Object detected. Yes, collect object. No, super. Uh, then we, you will see the super object in map. Yes, you will be wall tracking. No, you will see the other statement, which is detect wall or obstacle. Yes, you will avoid the wall or the obstacle. No, you will move forward. And then the end. And it will just go again and again and again. Ultrasonic. How are you? I use the ultrasonic to reward and to be sure that I'm at a place or a condition that allows me to be starting wall tracking or even over new obstacles, like that picture. Color sensors. I use the color sensors to collect objects with a badge score or to avoid trap, to not lose my objects, and to deposit or the my objects. That um, collecting back, collecting red, collecting cyan, the uh, trap avoiding, and busting. How to avoid trap? The trap is the same size as the busting area, but uh, but it has the opposite function compared to the busting area. If you enter the trap, which is the area inside the yellow mark, you will lose every object you have. So you must use the yellow mark. Around the trap to avoid it, and for better strategy, you can let the you can let the turn of avoiding the trap be in a direction that can help the robot get more objects or go to the depositing area or to track the wall. Like you can actually let the turn in a place that's helpful, uh, like to deposit or or you wall check. My game here, he was wall tracking, then he got a super object. And the same example, like here, he, he went and he just saw the wall, small turn, it's very as touching the red, then he will take the super object. Okay, and then he just completes. Applying knowledge again to real. The rescue robot is a robot that has been designed for the purpose of rescuing people. It is used in mining accidents, urban disasters. Rescue robots were used in the rescue and response efforts to the September 11 attacks, nuclear disaster, and the 2016 Amatrice earthquake. Here is uh, five um, rescue robots. Uh, this is uh, the like firefighting robots, which have like um, like water tanks or something that helps it with the remote control. And there's another. And there's another um, robot. The fourth one is the M V five M V F. It's actually like the same thing. It has cameras and it's with the remote control. It's also the same thing. It's a firefighting robot. Three. The animal. It's a robot that can actually walk like uh, in different obstacles and 
it has actually like legs that can actually be using the wheels to move faster or to pick objects. So. The second robot is the center. It's actually used by someone who um, wears a suit that can control the robot with the suit. It's like anything the human needs, the robot makes. Go with wheels often and can even break all the deck. The first, and it's the Walkman. Walkman is the same like a, a human. He can make anything, he opens doors, he like does something, he can open doors, etc. He can even drive a car. And that's the video. Thank you for your time.